Welcome to this beginner's guide to Noteful, where we'll go over everything you need to know about the app. From basic navigation to using its tools, this video covers all the key features of Noteful. If you're looking for a specific feature, feel free to jump to it using the timestamps in the description. Let's get started. When you open the Noteful app, you'll see a left pane that contains all the notebooks you'll create inside or import into Noteful. The other major half of the dashboard shows the notebooks within the default folders and the folders you'll make inside the app. This search icon allows you to search for notebooks directly on the main screen. The next icon lets you choose whether to display the notebooks in a list or a horizontal layout. This one lets you sort out files by name, date modified, or created. The next one lets you select your files to further share, duplicate, move to other folders, give them a tag, or simply delete them. The last icon opens up the exact page in the notebook where you previously left your activity. To add a folder, you have to be first inside the folders section, which can be accessed from the left pane. Then click the plus icon and choose new folder. Give it a name, color, or icon. Tap on create and a new folder will be inserted. You can nest one folder in another and create several layers to access your notebooks or planners for extra organization. Adding a notebook in Noteful follows a similar pattern as you have to click this plus icon for it as well and tap on the notebook. From here, you can choose the cover, paper size, color, and template of the notebook. Additionally, you can give it a name and add a tag to this notebook for quick access. Once you do it, simply tap on create and your notebook will be created. By default, there's only one page inside the notebook. And to add more pages, you just have to pull on the left and the pages will continue to add on. Since you gave a tag to this notebook while creating, you'll see it here for easy access. You can also pin your frequently used files. And upon doing that, you'll find all the pinned files inside the library's pinned section. To delete a notebook, press and hold on it and tap on delete notebook. Go to the trash section, click the deleted notebook and choose recover to get the item recovered. Now you might have your own custom digital planners or notebooks which you want to use instead of Noteful's default notebooks. So to add your custom planners, click the plus icon again, tap on import file, locate the planner, and click open to import it inside Noteful. Unlike other apps, where you have to switch on the read-only mode to use hyperlinks inside the planner, Noteful makes it easy, where you just have to press and hold the point to access hyperlinks, no matter what tool you're currently at from the toolbar. I'm currently accessing the links in the planner I've created which are working smoothly in the app. I'll leave a link in the description to my Etsy shop if you're planning to get custom planners or notebooks. Next, when you click these three dots on the top right corner, you can choose either to scroll vertically or horizontally by selecting these options. This setting also directly affects how you add pages inside the default notebooks in Noteful. For example, if you choose vertical scroll, new pages will be added when you pull upwards. If you select horizontal scroll, Pages will be added by swiping left, just like we've seen earlier in the video. You can also fix the toolbar top, right, bottom, or left. I'm right-handed, so having the toolbar on the right side is a plus for me, as it helps me access everything easily. Additionally, you can stop your iPad from getting locked by clicking this Keep iPad Awake option. You can turn off the status bar to hide the date and time and have a little more space. Further, you can also turn off the ruler and zoom window options, which you can always access from the bottom right inside Noteful. I personally like to keep the zoom feature on because it's really useful. Whenever you need to write something, you simply need to swipe using your finger to get the blue rectangle to move on the screen, which highlights the writing area within the zoom section. And when you write in it, the text will appear upwards automatically. From this section, you can also enable the timer, which will appear on the tab bar above, and include both a stopwatch and a timer. This setting is optional, but can be helpful if you want to stay focused on a task while using the Noteful app. The first item you'll see on the toolbar inside Noteful is the thumbnail viewer, which allows you to see all the pages in your notebook or planner. One way to use the thumbnail viewer is when you want to duplicate the pages inside your file, especially when it's a custom template that you want to reuse multiple times. So to duplicate a page, go to the thumbnail viewer. By default, you'll land on the page you're currently at. We need to click on this insert option. Now just tap on the current from the sub options and you'll see the page getting duplicated inside the thumbnail viewer. Another thing you can do inside the thumbnail viewer 
is deleting the duplicated page or any other page. To do so, simply select that page first and click the delete option from the top bar. Apart from deleting, you can cut or copy and paste a page, give the page a tag, or simply extract it as a new notebook, and lastly share it maybe to your fellows. The next in the queue is the pen tool. There are three types of pen you can choose from, a bowl, fountain, or a brush pen. You can also define the thickness of the pen by choosing the nib size of your pen. Now, if you click the settings icon inside this tool, you can switch on multiple settings, for example, holding the pen to give it a shape, scribble to erase, and more. Now you might be wondering what this scribble to erase feature is. To use and understand it, you first have to turn on the scribble in your iPad settings. To do so, just head over to the settings, type Apple Pencil, and turn on the scribble. This feature uses the text tool to let you write notes with your Apple Pencil in your own handwriting, then automatically converts them into your selected font. To use it, tap the text tool. It's this icon with the letter A inside a box. Next, tap anywhere on the screen and start writing. Once you're done, your handwriting will be converted into the font you've chosen. That's how you use Scribble on the iPad. Now, if you want to resize the text, simply tap on it with your finger and select the resize option to adjust the font size. You can also set the default font, its size, and color by clicking on this double A option. Now whenever you'll write something using the text tool, it will follow the default setting you've set. Now remember that option you saw earlier in the pen tool's settings, which contained scribble to erase. To deploy that, simply scribble over the text you've written and it will automatically get erased. This icon reflects the tape tool inside the Noteful app. I love this feature because you can use it to decorate your pages. Or if you're a student, this tool will help you memorize your studies. So choose the tape type, size and pattern and use it onto the text that you want to memorize. It will hide the text. Tapping the tape will let the content behind it appear again. Tap it again, and it will disappear. And when you have several tapes on the page, instead of revealing the content one by one, you can click on the Reveal All option in the Tape tool to see all the content simultaneously. Click the Cover All option to get the tape back and hide the content. The next tool in the line is the Eraser, which is pretty self-describable in that it lets you erase the content. You can enable further options inside it, but I like to let it stay as default with just erase shapes and tapes switched on. The next tool is the lasso tool and you'll find yourself using it quite often. It's very handy for selecting various elements on your page, including handwritten notes, highlights, text boxes, images, and shapes. You can choose between a rectangular selection or freely draw around the object using your Apple Pencil for a more precise selection. Once selected, the lasso tool lets you move, resize, copy, duplicate, and more. This hand tool enables the read-only mode. You can either swipe through the pages using the Apple Pencil or your hands without affecting the written content. This presentation tool is important in cases where you're demonstrating a concept to someone by sharing your screen. It lets you highlight or showcase specific content by drawing neon lines around it, which automatically goes away after a couple of seconds. This recording icon in Noteful is its audio recording feature that allows you to record audio while you take notes. This is to ensure that you capture every detail of lectures or meetings. The audio playback position is synced with your notes, meaning you can play back the recording and see the corresponding notes highlighted in real time. You can also adjust the playback speed to go through the content quickly. The next tool is the text box, which we already covered before while understanding the scribble. The above two tools are pretty self-explanatory. They let you add images and shapes inside the Noteful app. This little circular icon is very useful because here you can import your digital PNG stickers. The app also includes some default stickers grouped under the cactus illustration. Now to add your custom stickers inside the app, click the plus icon, select all the stickers you want to import and tap on the open. You can either save them in the existing cactus collection or create a new one. You can also create your own stickers if you're good at drawing. For example, you can draw a simple doodle and give it some styling. Now select it with the lasso tool and save it to collection to use it as a recurring sticker. Another simple way you can insert stickers inside the app is by opening it up in split view by having the digital stickers in the other tab. To add a sticker, simply pick and drag it over, resize, and place it wherever you want on the page. This plus icon allows you to customize your toolbar by selecting the tools you want. 
I personally prefer to keep the default setup, but you can turn tools on or off using the toggles and even rearrange their order to suit your workflow. The last two icons are used to undo and redo. You can also use undo by tapping with two fingers on the screen and redo with three fingers. You'll find the settings to enable these options on the main library in the top left. There's a gesture option where you can enable these undo and redo settings. Noteful also includes a popular feature called layers, which lets you add content on separate layers, just like in graphic design apps. To add layers to your notebook, tap the list icon at the top right, then select add. A new layer will be created on the current page. You can rename the layer, merge it with another, clear its contents, hide it, or even lock it to prevent any changes. Just besides the layers section, there's this outline section, which organize content as hierarchies. Just like a table of content, it's simple to add a page to outline section. Simply navigate to the page you want to add in it. Tap on the same list icon, go to outlines, and click on add to get things done. You can also bookmark a page by going to the bookmarks section and tapping the add button. Whenever you want to revisit that page, just head back to the bookmarks section and you'll find it there for quick access. If you would like to create a backup of your written notes, you can enable the auto backup and cloud synchronization settings from the main library on the top left. Note that this syncing is Noteful's premium feature and is only available in the Noteful Pro. The Noteful Pro app is only $4.99 for lifetime access, which I think is quite affordable, considering all these features inside the app. You can create backups on both iCloud and Google Drive in Noteful. To backup to iCloud, simply enable the Cloud Sync setting. For Google Drive, head to the Auto Backup section and connect your Drive account to the app. You can also enable automatic backups by toggling the Auto Backup option. So overall, Noteful is an easy-to-use application with a straightforward document creation process and a user-friendly interface. This was everything I thought should be summed up in a video for beginners. Let me know in comments if you've any questions. Also, drop a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Lastly, if you want to shop for digital planners or connect with me on Instagram, the link to my Etsy shop and socials is in the description. Until next time, see you.